GitHub Pages allows you to create a website for free directly from a GitHub repository, and GitHub Actions makes it easy to automate workflows that include tasks such as deploying applications. In this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy a React application to GitHub Pages by using GitHub Actions. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, and let's get to it. Okay, first we need to create a new repository, so I'm going to click on new, and the name of the repository will be React Pages. I'm going to keep this repo public, and I'm going to click on create repository. Okay, now I'm going to clone this repo locally. So this is git clone, and I'm going to paste the GitHub repository URL. Now I'm going to enter to the React Pages folder. And now I'm going to create a new React project. So this is npx, create React app. Our React project is ready, so we need to install a dependency that will allow us to publish our React application. And this package is sh pages. So we need to run npm install sh pages. And we need to install this dependency as a development dependency. So this is save dev. Now that the sh pages package has been installed, let's go to Visual Studio Code and let's open the package.json file. And here we can see that the sh pages library is part of the development dependencies. So now we need to make a few changes in order to be able to deploy our React project to GitHub pages. So First, we need to add a new property. I'm going to add here. That is home page. So the format for this URL is GitHub username dot GitHub dot IO forward slash and the name of the project that in this case is React Pages. This is actually the name of the GitHub repository. My username is Pragmatic Reviews, so I'm going to put that in here. Okay, and here we need to add two scripts. We need to add one script that is pre-deploy, and this script is going to run every time that we run the deploy command. So the deploy command is going to execute G8 pages minus D build. This is basically going to take the contents from the local build directory and it's going to push those contents into a new branch in GitHub. And in the pre-deploy script will be npm run build. And every time that we run the deploy script is going to run the pre-deploy. It's going to build the application into the build directory and the ch pages command is going to create a new branch in GitHub and it's going to push the changes from that directory into the GitHub branch. Okay, now let's open a new terminal. Now let's build and deploy our application to GitHub pages. So we only need to run npm run deploy. So first it's going to run the pre-deploy script that is going to build the application. And now it's going to run the sh pages command that is going to deploy application into GitHub. Now let's go to our GitHub repository and let's refresh the page. And as we can see here, we have a new branch with our static assets generated when we built the React application. And if you go to settings and if you go here to pages, we're going to see that our site is published at this URL. And if we click here, we're going to see our React application up and running. Okay, now let's see how we can automate the deployment of our React application to GitHub Pages by setting up a GitHub Actions workflow. Okay, let's go back to Visual Studio Code. Okay, and here we need to create a new file. We need to put this file within a specific folder that is .github. And within this folder, we need to add another folder that is workflows. And here we need to add a new YAML file that is workflow.yaml. Okay, first we need to put the name of the workflow, GitHub 
pages deploy. Now we need to set what is the event that is going to trigger this workflow. In our case, we'll be on push on the master branch. So this is on and this is push. And here we're going to specify the branches and this will be master. And here we need to add the different shops that are going to be part of this workflow. So this is shops. We are going to just create one shop that will be for building and deploying the application. I'm just going to call it build. Here we need to specify what is the Docker image where this workflow is going to run. So this is runs on. And we are going to set Ubuntu latest. Okay, now we are going to set the node version. So here we need to add the strategy. This is matrix. And here we need to set the node version. Node version. And the node version will be 15. Okay, and now we need to add the different steps of the workflow. So the first step will be checking out the code. So this is checkout. And this is going to use a special action provided by GitHub. And the way that we need to set it up here is actions slash checkout at B1. The next step will be installing the dependencies and building the application. So this is name, this is install and build. And in this step, we are going to run npm install and npm run build. And finally, we're going to have the deployment step. And for the deployment step, I'm going to use an action that is on this repo. I'm going to leave the link below and I'm going to copy the settings from here and I'm going to paste those here. So basically here we are using this specific action that is GitHub pages deploy action version 411. This is the latest release. Yes, this is the latest release as we can see here. Let's go back. And we are going to use the same branch that we are using that is GH pages. And the folder is the standard folder for React applications. So I'm going to save this. And now I'm going to open the terminal and I'm going to commit and push the code to trigger the GitHub Actions workflow. So this is git add everything, git commit minus m, initial commit. And now let's push the changes. Okay, now let's go to GitHub and now let's go to Actions. And as we can see here, we have the first workflow running. So if we enter here, and as we can see here, it's going to check out the code, it's going to install and build the application. And after that, it's going to deploy the application to GitHub pages. Okay, and the deployment has finished successfully. Now let's make a change, just to check that every time that we make a change, it's going to deploy that change into GitHub pages. So let's go back. And now let's go to the application and let's make a change here. So here I'm just going to add an H1 and here I'm going to put testing GitHub pages with React and GitHub actions. Okay, now I'm going to commit and push this change. So this is git add everything, git commit minus M, changing message. And now let's push this change to the repo. Okay, now let's check the GitHub Actions dashboard. As we can see here, we have a new workflow running. And again, it's going to check out the code. It's going to install and build the application. And finally, it's going to deploy the application. The workflow has finished successfully. So let's go to our application in React Pages and let's refresh it. And as we can see here, we have our new message that is testing GitHub Pages with React and GitHub Actions. That's all I have for today. Thank you guys for watching and I see you in the next one. Take care. Bye. Thank you.